What's up, Ravens fans? We just walked off the practice field here in the off-season program. It's over. So, Ryan, let's start with you. Give me your biggest takeaway after watching three days of mandatory minicamp. To me, it's all about the secondary. The secondary has been a much maligned group over the past several years, but I think there's a lot of improvement that's going to happen and has already happened this summer. I mean, you talk about the last practice, Matt Elam, a safety who's taken his share of criticism, coming up with a big interception, ripping a touchdown away from Max Williams. Gerard Powers, a yeah. new addition at cornerback. He's leading the secondary in interceptions so far. He's been kind of impressing people with how many loose balls he's got. You didn't even bring up Eric Weddle. He might be the biggest addition of all. Eric Weddle. <laughs> he's transforming the back of the end of this defense with his communication, kind of directing the whole unit. I think the secondary is much improved, and Dean Pease agrees. What do you think about the offense? The offense, uh, you know, I think there's going to be a, a ton of variety. It's really interesting to watch. I mean, the thing that, that I took away from that uh, is listening to Mark Tressman, uh, uh, you know, the day before in his interview say, you know, there's position battles everywhere. Yeah. I mean, and, and what that means, I think, in the end, is there's going to be a lot of flexibility. Four tight ends, three running backs. Can you six... have four tight end sets out there, you think? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you see four tight <laughs> yeah. ends. The Patriots did that. The Patriots did four tight ends once, and it wouldn't surprise me to see the Ravens do that one time. Four tight end set. Yeah, I mean, to me, the a takeaway that I think is something that is still a question to be answered here. And I feel good about where the team is right now. A question to me that still has to be answered, and it will be in training camp, is the pass rush. That's something that we talked so much about last season because Terrell Suggs was hurt. And as we found out this year, Elvis Dumeril was hurt a lot more than he led on last year. Yes. I mean, he had a foot procedure this offseason to clean up an issue that was lingering. But to me, what I'm going to be eager to see in training camp, how's the pass rush look? How does it look once Terrell Suggs is back out there on the field? How's Elvis Dumerville after having this cleanup procedure? That, to me, is something that is still a lingering question and that I'm taking away from the offseason program. Yeah, I would agree. There's still some injury concerns. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you still have some issues, really. Steve Smith, Dumerville, Terrell Suggs. Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, that's a big one. That's my biggest takeaway from this whole thing is Joe Flacco. Forget what happened on the field. He says at the end, I'm going to be ready to go. Yeah. For the Ravens in 2016, is there anything bigger? No. That's very true. You know, he said he could be ready at the Super Bowl or two months ago. Just yeah. throw that out there. <laughs> That's crazy. So those are our takeaways from Mandatory Minicamp. The offseason program is over, but we still have a lot of great content coming your way, so make sure that you keep it right here.